So hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Solution of Byte 15. How did it go for you? You know, those if loops are, are quite a nutcracker, are they? Anyhow, we're going to solve it today and then on the next video we will start with a notepad and hopefully start wrapping things up. Okay, so if you remember the, where we left it on by 15, it was that we were going to dynamically query, allow the player to dynamically query our data set to be able to ask questions to the data, okay? So we had the, this piece of code, and this is what we're going to do in today's video. We are going to add the piece of code for querying the database to the database um, module. And then we're going to modify the main loop. So, you know, to structure the, the game a little bit better. Obviously, you don't need to structure it the same way as I do, but this is the way I did it. Let's get started. Okay, first thing, things first, um, what we're going to do is to grab the code for the dynamic queries and put it into, if you remember, we had a database action module. So we're going to add that in here. Um, I call that function like this. Um, so we're going to put it in there. And I call that query table. And for that, we're going to have the selected table, query input, and column name. So if you remember for byte 15, this is the query that we had. So copy that. And we're going to put it there. Need to tap that. And then we need to copy this part. Like that. And then we need to copy that part, which is the one that fetches the result. Like that. So, so this will print the first 10 results of each query. I think we need to have more than 10. I think it needs to be like 20 or something. Okay, so now we have the database action for querying. Where do we put it? If you remember on byte 11, it was the byte where we split the code, the code into modules and we split it into database, other actions and plot actions. This is the matplotlib part. Here's the thing. There was one that I did not put anywhere. And you told me that. Let's say, Ruth, you forgot. But I didn't really forget, but I didn't know where to put it. And it was, if you go to byte 11, is this part. Like the get help menu that we created, I think, on byte 5. So I didn't put it anywhere, but we're going to do that now. We are going to create a new module. So if you're on the module folders, go to plus and then go to Python file. And I call these, let me see, main loop. So this is the loop that is going to guide the user through the entire game by, ask, by allowing them to ask questions and give answers. So I call these rename main loop dot pi. Okay, perfect. And the main loop.py is composed mainly of this part, the get, get help menu. Obviously, we need to modify it, but it's what it's going to contain mainly. So we're going to put it there. And the main loop, I actually renamed it. I call it... Uh, query database loop, because that's what it actually does. Maybe we could have put it onto the database actions, but it's a little bit mixed of stuff, because it's the, the heart of our code. I wanted to separate it, right? So this will need import sys. You will need import time for all the weight stuff. So it needs also the database action and the plot actions. And now we need to go through the code and make sure that we have the correct um, prefixes so it gets executed correctly. 
So we don't need this part anymore. Uh, it says we don't need that one either. That will be taken care of by the main loop. We are going to have global selected table because that's going to be needed by the main query. So this is the part that it selects the tables that we want. If they select zero, if you remember, we're going to show them the database schema and the tables. So we need to modify this a little bit. So if they select zero, it says print. I've changed the print statement to uh, this here, you have all the tables and columns available in the database. And then this is going to print a list of all available tables. And the list map, it just prints it in a nicer way. And then we're going to print the database schema. So you need to call it from plot, plot schema. Have we changed the plot schema? Plot geomap, plot, plot, no, we haven't done it. Let's do that too. So plot actions, we need to have the plot schema, which is going to be the one that we did on byte 15. Uh, so this is the import stuff. So we're going to go to our plot actions. And there you put, so you open the image and then you use matplotlib to show the image. We've gone through this. So you just paste the code in there, okay? So save. And that's the definition that goes in here, plot schema. And then wait for a while because I realized that sometimes it takes a little bit while to, you know, run the image. So the code will jump before the image shows. So I'm saying, hold on a second let it load and then continue. This is the part where they choose any of the other tables, okay? So that we're gonna change a little bit too. So we're gonna to go to, it's quite similar, but not really. So first we need to do the, this has to be DB tables again to call in the module, the database module. And then it says, if you pick any of, do you remember that we were generating the name, the table names in case that we add the table names? Okay, so now this is what is going to happen. We are going to first generate all the tables. We've done this before. So it's going to say, okay, would you like to query table A, table B, table C, you know, um, with a loop. We've done it before. And then something that we didn't do before, it was, I didn't want them to, to get just the database schema. I just want them to get some simple data so they know how to query and what to query. So that's this part. So it says, and here is some sample data, right? And then get the sample data from the database actions. That's why it has DB. And then the next thing that is going to happen is that we're going to query, uh, wait, we need to print it in a nice format. there and then execute the query tables loop because the query tables loop is going to be as such. I, I divided, you know, we could have done this in nested loops like if, 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 but I find it so hard in my brain to do it. So instead of continue coding here, I create a function that just does the query tables loop. Okay, so this is how the query tables loop looks like. So is the one that, let me show you. So the first thing that is going to happen is this part. So while true print, you know, it starts asking like, what would you like to do now? Uh, enter one to query the data, enter two to search on the tables or quit the investigation, right? And then this is the part, we've done this on byte 15. So it's like querying at the tables. So if it is not one or not two or not three, that means if they put something that shouldn't put in there, 
then you need to break the query, right? So this is there. You need to say, okay, sorry, well, go, uh, row nine, sorry, and exit this and go back to this loop up here, right? And then if it is two, which means I would like to search all the tables, is the exact same thing. You break this query and you go back up here, right? If it is one, that's the part where we start querying the table. So you said get data and then table data and then you go here. Let me show you there. And then this is the loop. Do you remember the enter a column that we did in by 15? So is this part up here. Where is it? Here. This is the part that I'm copying now. So creating the columns and then enter a date, enter a, right? No notebook. That will come later. So this is the part that it says like, okay, enter a name, enter a date, an ID, whatever it is. And then the last part is to, if they put three, it means that they don't want to play anymore and then we will quit the game. Save. And the last part that we have to do now is on the main loop, we need to add, um, first of all, import the module. Not forget that. And the last part is to start the main loop to be able to run it. Okay, so if we've done everything right, this should work. Let's test <laughs> some other way. So we go there, we go terminal, and we go python main.py. Okay, so so far so good, let's see what breaks. Do you accept the challenge? Yes, pick a name Ruth. So Ruth 23, uh, hello, and then it starts the, would you like to be, a, what table would you like to see? Don't worry about the spaces, we'll fix that later. I say zero, and it says, if we go to modules and plot actions, we need to import uh, pandas numpy, we need to import peel, right, to be able to create the image. And then I think that should be enough. Let's run it again and see. Twenty-four. Zero. And it plots the data of the schema here. Thank you very much. And then we go to what table would you like to see? I would like to see table one. It show us the schema and then it show us the um, the sample data and then say what would you like to do? I would like to query please. And it says selected table is not defined. So main loop, selected table. Oh, it's not spelled correctly. So let's go back again, Python. Yes, root 25. <laughs> One, one, enter date, 2018.05, I never remember. And then it says, table name is not defined on query table. 
Okay, so I know what it is, um, the dangers of copy pasting. If we go to the main loop, we copy, no, sorry, here, to the database action, we copied from our code, but in our test code, the table name was called table name. Here, our selected table is called selected table, not table name. So we need to change that in here. Save. And then we run it again. <laughs> See what happens. This is what you need to do, you know. It never runs on a first try. You always have to, you know, <laughs> make it work. Uh, murder SQL. Query table cursor. Query table. So this is here. Database. Again, this is because we're copying. We don't need to have the module name anymore. Yes, Ruth. Let's see. One, one. Oh, we got it. Okay. Finally, two other queries, three query. Ooh, I don't know any of these. So you queries everything. Okay, so, so we got it working finally. Okay, now on the next byte, what we're going to do is we're going to um, create the notepad so the user or the player can actually write their notes, you know, like on real crime investigations. And also because it's helpful to keep track of the names and the date, births and all that stuff. So we will do that on byte 16. See you then.